I, d I, know, I don't understand why so many people don't understand the concept of everything that we get under the social contract, we could do under the private contract right. without using force against others. Right. Everything's possible, the demand would be higher, there'd be competition and innovation in all these right. sectors, and it would be so much better than what right. we have with the government. Right, well the problem is that people don't, I mean, believe in government really is a religion, and people really think, I mean, it's really muddled in their head, and it's gray mm -hmm. and foggy, but they really imagine this, this thing called government is capable of things that people are, or it has resources that we don't. Like they, yeah. And if you ask them on it, you can tell they're muddling. They've never thought about it. And they they might come and say, oh, "Okay, yeah, I guess it gets it from taxes." Like, but who will pay for the poor? Like you're already yeah. paying for the poor. Yeah. You just have them stealing it from you, wasting ninety percent on a bureaucracy, yeah. and then giving it to their cousin and pretending he was poor. Like, <laughs> which kills more jobs, which makes more people poor. Right, which yeah. makes a giant disaster. We're already doing it. We're already paying for all of it. Like, we're building roads. The politicians aren't building roads. We're paying for it. They're not paying for it. So the idea that we need this this group of, of violent middlemen and that somehow we couldn't do it without them is just silly. But the only reason people believe that is because they really, in their head, they have this muddled notion that government really is something that has superhuman rights and yeah. powers and resources that us mere mortals couldn't possibly do. Yeah. And it's just silly. And when you overcome that, you realize, why on earth would we need them for anything? Yeah. Dave, they get free college. They get free college. I mean, socialism is awesome. They get free college. Socialism is awesome. Well, there's two problems with your theory. One is it's not free because the tax rate is so freaking high. Like we're going, I had this happen in Sweden where we were going um, on a wonderful tour with this lady going through Stockholm and she's telling us all the free stuff they get, free stuff this. And I said, I got tired of it because I'm a capitalist. And I finally just said, freeze butt. What's your tax rate? Her personal tax rate was 72%. So freeze butt, okay? That's the government taking your money away from you, giving it back to you, and making you think you got something for free. Okay, this is socialism.